What's up, people? Today I'm talking about a tax return challenge. What is the tax return challenge, you ask? Basically, I'm trying to challenge people and influence them six things that I came up that they can do with their tax return instead of just running and spending it on stuff that do not appreciate in value or serve no real benefit just buying materialistic things I'm going to give six things that I'm challenging people to pick one or two or three or to at least to try to do what they tax return I'm looking down because I had to write them down I keep forgetting it number one pay off your debt if you have credit card debt pay it off so your credit so your credit score can go up pay off that credit card debt number two invest in yourself get a skill what kind of skill it does not matter if you want to cut hair if you want to do hair if you want to do eyebrows go to a trade skill go to a class get a skill use that money make it serve a good purpose get a skill my skill is driving trucks i can drive the biggest semi truck that they have it's a skill that my friend encouraged me to go get and when i got it i did not regret getting it if my job fires me tomorrow all I have to do is buy a truck and I can go on the road and make money. I don't have to work for a company. A skill is something that you can do. Let's say you go get a, you learn to cut hair. You can cut hair from your house. People will come to you and get their hair cut. You can feed your family. You can make money without a job. Just like ladies when they do their hair. If that lady know how to do their hair or do hair, people go to her house just to get their hair done. This is a skill that benefits. So take that tax return and get that get a skill. Find whatever one you decide to do. You want to do nails, you want to cut hair, you want to do hair, you want to do eyebrows, eyelashes. All these skills are out there. Take your tax return, invest in yourself, and go get a skill. Number three, buy an asset. What is, what is an asset? An asset is something that makes you money. And a liability is something that takes money away from you. So just give you an example, um, a car. Let's say you have an extra car just, just sitting at home, you just driving on the weekend, but you're paying insurance, you're paying the car payment, it's not making you no money. It's a liability because it's taking money away from you. But let's say you have that extra car and um, you made it a taxi, and now you rent it out and people use that car and they make money and they have to pay you to use it. Now it's an asset, it brings you money. So take your tax return and invest in something that makes you money. Get an asset. Uh, number four, buy a property. You can buy a property. Even if you stay with your parents now or you stay with a relative or a friend or your, your wife, your girlfriend, whoever, a boyfriend, still buy a property. While you stand where you are, rent it out. Let the person, your tenant, pay your mortgage for you. So example, let's say you buy a house. You take your tax return, you buy a house. And the payment is, let's say, $1,000 and your tenant is renting it from you for $1,300. You pay the bank the $1,000 and you keep $300 in your pocket. That's, that's another asset, you're making money. But in the long run, it's something that appreciates in value. So when you decide to sell it, when the market goes up again or whatever, or you can leave it for your kids forever. And the number one thing that a lot of rich people buy in this country is property and land. Everybody's fighting for property and land. So we could fight for property and land too. We got to take our tax return, that nice little bonus, and put it to good use. All right. Number five, start a business. Whatever business you decide to start, start one. All of these things could be done. I started a truck business before. I had a car wash business before. Start a business. Invest in yourself. Do not be scared. Get confident in yourself. If, if you do not believe in yourself, nobody else is going to believe in you. You know what I'm saying? So start a business. Number six. Don't spend it, just save it. If you're not confident, uh, confident enough to start a business or you don't feel like you have enough money to start a business, man, you, you've been living the whole year last year and a little bit of this year without that tax return. So you can definitely live another year without it. Put that baby away, save it. Next year you'll have double of whatever you're getting. Save the tax return. That's the six things I came up with to start a tax return challenge. You do not have to spend it. It's not illegal to save it. Save it, pay off debt, invest in yourself, buy an asset, buy a property, start a business. If you feel like you might not use it, please at least share the video to somebody who can use it. If you feel like you're already doing this, again, share the video. 
it does not matter. Just get it out there. Maybe people, they just don't know. They never heard it come from nobody before. But all of this stuff can be done. I have done it. I've seen people around me that have done it. Maybe you have done it. And maybe you're, you try to talk to your friend and they probably wasn't listening. But share this video. Send it around. Make it a hashtag. Do whatever we have to do. But get it around to people. Financial freedom. That's how we can do it. Later, people.